Hi. This is a short tutorial about configuring clouds or loopback interfaces for GNS3. So, what we need is we need to configure Microsoft Loopback Filter that we can use as a loopback interface for a loopback host running Dynamips on GNS3. So, to install the Microsoft Loopback Doctor, you need to go to your control panel, then go to add hardware, click next, choose to install manually. From the list, select the network adopters. Choose Microsoft and then Microsoft Loop That Adopter and click Next. We'll load the drivers and we'll add another connection, a local area connection, which is apparently Loop Back because it is the virtual connection to your Mac card and it can be found in network connections this is the new created one this is what I've been using previously so I'm going to use the one that I made don't really matter because from then onwards what you need to do is simply configure the IP addresses just like you do for any local area connection or Wi-Fi connection and you can assign any IP addresses you want but remember the loopback interface IP address should belong to the same subnet of the serial you're trying to ping this interface from well, this sounds a little bit complex, but when I'll move to GNS3 and make a network topology, I'll explain it a bit. So, let's go to GNS3. You can make any topologies you want using routers, switches, anything. The cloud basically serves as an interface to access the external part, which is your loopback interface so I'm, I'm just going to try with the Cisco 2600 router and uh, a cloud but remember one thing as the cloud is a virtual image mapped just to provide services to Windows emulator which itself provides services to further emulators or command line interfaces so basically it runs on Ethernet protocol so while connecting any device to the cloud make sure you use the Ethernet links I'm going to use Ethernet to cloud if you can see clearly, it gives me an error. No interface available. Please configure this device, which is very, very important. So we need to configure the cloud first. To configure the cloud, right click, configure, go to the interface, click care, and you'll see all your net adopter cards, your wireless cards, your basic standard LAN card and the newly created loopback. If you can see in this example I've got the loopback host that I've previously created loopback host and not the new one. Basically sometimes when you add the loopback adopter then you might 
have to restart your computer. Otherwise, the network map for GNS3 does not recognize that. So it's a good practice, like after installing the loopback adapter, restart your machine, make a topology, and then add the device. For now, I'm going to add the loopback that I previously created. Click Add. OK. And we're good to go. Use an Ethernet link. Connect. And it will give you the device ID of the adopter which is we selected and it is the loop by the adopter click on it you can see the node is active because the card is enabled it is enabled if the green light doesn't turn up means the network adopter that you created is not enabled so enable it first and then you can see this start all nodes and then you can try consoling it the way you want you can assign it any IP address you want it can serve as your loopback interface 